You asked and I'll answer. Um, yeah, I did. I, look, I watched his explanation. Um, I thought the case was closed uh, when he acknowledged that Kennedy was offside by a step. Um, that closed the case for me then and there. But I understand, look, I want to make it really clear. I understand that referees have a bloody tough job to do and it's a fast game and they've got to see a lot. Uh, so I understand Graham standing up for his refs and um, and I don't want to be the guy that's piling on them because we need referees in our game and, and it's a, as I said, it's a hard job. At the same time, I want to stand up for our players too. It was a vital uh, game in our season. Um, I'm not sure on, you know, the. I think the rules were used to the nth degree in Phoenix's case and they were also used uh, to the nth degree in the blockers, but they weren't used to the nth degree in, in probably the oldest rule in the book about being on site. So, and I didn't raise that. Graham acknowledged that when he watched the vis and when he explained when the ball clears the foot where Kennedy was standing. So, But at the end of the day, look, there were some parts of the game that we need to own in the second half, in particular our completion rate that put us in that position. Um, so me sitting there piling on refs and whinging, um, and I'm not conceding that we, we didn't mount a strong case, and I think our case has been proven. There was an infringement that was missed. And, but I don't blame the, the referees or the touch judges, as I said. They've got a lot to look at. We've got, I blame the system. I, I think there's technology there that we can use, and it was used on Thursday night in the Storm Penrith game to catch someone that was offside at a tap, but we can't use it, and Kalen asked for it to be checked, the onside, in a golden point situation. So that's a flawed system that needs probably looking at. And and I think uh, just in regards to the blockers, you know, I think, you know, I was, I was supportive of bringing the rule in because I think it was there to eradicate two guys just forming a wall beside the play of the ball who are in no position to receive the ball. Uh, I don't feel, and we'll have to agree to disagree on it, I don't feel that anyone was impeded with our guys that were set up in run shape. You, you should be entitled to run the footy in Golden Point as well, and that's what it may look like they were never going to get the ball, but ultimately if the ball's passed to them, they were in a position that they could have a run or they could move the ball to the edge, and, and you should be entitled to do that. They, were, they weren't standing there blocking the markers. They had a clear path that, but chose not to put pressure on, so... Look, let's put it to bed now. I've really got to, we've got to own the stuff that we uh, that we did in the second half and, and make sure that we put in a good performance this week. I think you, you'll probably see another team there that felt like they should have won in South. So, yeah, we've just got to get on with it. As you say, that stuff you can't control, so you put that to the side. Yep. The team did well with Phoenix off for that tenant, so they defended yep. really well. But I guess tough that... They just didn't complete so many sets in that second half. They had a, they were in a position to win, but just yep. couldn't finish it off. Yeah, that's that's a bit that we've got to own. I thought we were outstanding in that managing that period uh, with Phoenix off. That's all we needed to keep doing. Now, whether or not there's a lot of fatigue being down to 12, uh, I'm not too sure. But ultimately, we went for you know we completed one set in amongst seven, so that's not good enough. Um, and we understand that and we own it. That's the bit that. I'm focused on, and that's, uh, that's my primary primary concern now that we've put the other stuff to bed. How does the team get better at that? Because it's probably not the first time this season that you guys haven't closed down a game. Yeah, well, we needed some guides, uh, leaders to actually, you know, grab hold of the game and, and probably vocab that to each other, what's needed. Uh, as I said, I thought they'd, they'd done an outstanding job. I'm actually really proud of... We pulled ourselves off the canvas numerous times, like 10-0... 10 nil down. I think the week prior to that, the other team let them get to 44 nil. Like we found our way to get back in the game. I was really proud of that effort. But you're right. At some point, you know, you're putting back to back, you know, sets not completed. We've got to grab hold of that as leaders and say, right, this is what we need to do for the next five or ten minutes. How's the morale been after the? Ah, uh, they're just in today. Uh, we've got review. Um, as I said, they're they're disappointed. It was probably a shattered to shed that I've seen for a long, long time after the game. Um, and not only on, on, on how we lost, we understand that we had a really, really good grip on that game at 18-10 and we need to close it out. So they care a lot. Um, but right now, we're, we're still a mathematical chance. We need to ultimately win our next three and hope that that game on the weekend doesn't come back to hers at the end of the year. How do you pick yourselves up this week? Do you do anything sort of different to... 
Uh, no, I don't think so. I think uh, they're professionals. Uh, we'll look at the review. Um, it's a shorter turnaround for us, so we won't. I don't expect us to get the result in our training this week. It needs to be. We need to fill our cup back up and, and go down with a really good mindset. And as I said, Souths will be feeling the same. They feel like they probably were in a position to win at the end of the game. So you get two teams there that are desperate to change the feeling that they've got in their stomach right now. Team, you're going to name this afternoon. Expect changes with Tyson coming off at the end. Uh, naturally, Tyson going for surgery tomorrow uh, on his hand. Um, and if we're fortunate enough to get ourselves in a position to play finals, I'd expect him to be back. Um, so, uh, yeah, there will be some changes. I haven't finalised that. I need to meet with our leadership group and, and other coaches, and we'll finalise at the start of And Dylan Lucas, is he likely? Yeah, he's a strong chance. Yeah, I anticipate. Um, I don't want to jinx myself, but I think that he'll be named in the squad this afternoon. He'll be given every chance to, to come back in. Last week you were saying Bradman was looking good. Is he any chance? Yeah, I reckon Dylan's probably more of a sure thing for him, I think. Um, he's, I know, obviously, so you've got to meet with people to work out who is going to be in that halves pairing. Is it Jack Cogger? Is it Jackson Hastings? Are they both in the mix? Who is... Both of them, Will Price, yeah, they're all in the mix. What about South Sydney? It's just a game where you know they've got nothing to lose, so you've got to be wary, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of that. Um, makes them dangerous uh, with nothing to lose, but you know, it's a pretty loose statement saying nothing to lose. They're still they're a proud club. They still want to play well, and um, they want to you know turn around that. As I said, they'd be in a position similar to us where they felt like they'd done enough to win at the back end of the game last week. So um, yeah, look. Ultimately, we need to take care of our game, and uh, but I think you're right. We can expect some stuff that we haven't seen for a little while, some trick shots, and we just need to put ourselves in a position to compete and come up with the right answer. I guess you, the players need to have that determination this week. As you say, the, 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 the ball's still in your yep. court. You, if you don't win, you've got, you, you don't even need to factor in those other equations. That winning is... Yeah. Everything. Winning is everything. Yeah. Yeah. Spot on. Spoken like a coach, Carly. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the um, you're right. We, you know we the thing we can't control anything that's happened on the weekend. And I know I've had me whinge, and you know I'm not I'm not overly proud of going in there and heaping pressure on officials because I never do it. I've, I've never come close to being fined. I'm not that type of coach. And. Ultimately, the, our main responsibility was we should have managed the middle part of the second half. We're not talking about any of this. But right now, the focus needs to move away from that and move towards putting in a really good performance against Souths and getting a, getting a win. So how's, the, how's the mindset at the moment after, after the weekend? Are they, are they pumped to get back on top again? That's yeah, uh, yeah, I think I answered it before. I haven't seen them yet. They're just they're entering the building now. They're going to recovery um, stations, you know, pool and massage, and then we'll do our review from the game. Um, I've, I've talked to a, a number of the leaders and that, and yeah, they're, they're, yesterday was a hard day for all of us, but today's a new day. We just can't be down in the well for too long. You've got to get back up to the top of it and get on with it. And I guess looking at positive things out of that game, I'm, again, well, I mean, everyone knows how talented Caelan Palmer is, but seeing him with the ball in his hand, whether he's running or getting that ball out wide, it's yeah. it's great to be watching it's every good, week. Good viewing, isn't it? Um, yeah, and that, I, look, I felt for all the guys just watching how shattered they were after the game, and it breaks your heart. But you know, in particular, Caelan and Gags for his how hard they competed, young Fletcher Sharp. Like it was, yeah, it was um, it was a hard loss for us, but. Um, I think Kalen had probably one of his best games this year for us, so that's a good sign. Uh, I spoke to him earlier, uh, or yesterday, and he's got that demeanour about him. He's got a point to prove. Speaking of Fletcher Sharp, obviously at some point, you know, like every player, he'll have a down game, but he seems yeah. to just take every challenge as it comes. We spoke last week about he's, you know, pretty much half the size of most of the guys he's coming up against, but it yeah. doesn't seem to phase him each week. He just seems to yeah. just take that energy and keep going. Yeah, his personality, his character, his nature, uh, whatever you call it, is, uh, is perfect for a guy to come in and play multiple positions because you're right, nothing 
does seem to um, phase him at all. Uh, he doesn't suffer from stress, Fletch. It's a young fella there, Fletcher Myers on the South Sydney. He's got a few games there now. He's previously here. Yep. What was the situation with, with him leaving sort of mid-year? Uh, it was probably an opportunity for him. Uh, I'm not too sure. Probably more of a question in the recruitment area and, and management. Um, but he was probably you know, behind guys like Fletcher and Davey Armstrong. And, uh, Greg and, and I think at the time Anari hadn't been injured so he's probably stuck behind a few and I think South had, they've copped a few injuries this year so uh, I think that's just a timing thing. Uh, Kyle McCarthy, yeah. how, how did you feel he went on debut? Yeah, I was rough for him. I think I said after the game it was a, it's not an easy thing to do, number one, go to Shark Park uh, against a top four team against Jesse Romian to make your debut so that's one thing that he had to contend with. Um, and hasn't been full time with us all year either, so you haven't got the reps uh, that the other guys have. So straight away, there's a bit of a mountain for him to climb. And then in the first ten minutes, you know, I was unsure why we uh, we went to him so many times in the first ten minutes. A young bloke that's on debut, he'd be a bit nervous, and he had a couple of uh, moments that he'd like to have back. But I was so proud of like for him to be able to shake that off, and then. The way he handled um, Jesse for the rest of the game defensively was outstanding. And then to go and compete on the, on the catch um, to create the first trial, he had some really good moments. There's really good signs there of a kid that's um, got a good future. I don't want to uh, put pressure on him and get him ahead of himself, which I, I know naturally with all our young blokes are all pretty, you know, their feet are firmly on the ground. But, yeah, it's, it's pretty remarkable what he did and we're proud of him. Again, it seems everyone who's made their debut this year has really aimed up when they've got their chance. Yeah, good good sign of the pathways is working, um, the systems that we're trying to install all the way from the NRL down through to our you know our flag and our mats, and same with our girls that. Um, you know, that's what the, the teams that have had sustained success, like Melbourne and Penrith, and that's what they, they've installed a system, and it does takes time. Um, but we've started building it there, we're building it now when we're not near completion, but we're on the tools every day. Bit of a left field one, I know Fletcher Sharp was a half growing up. Could he be the number six? Uh, that's left field. Um, <laughs> yeah, not, not completely out of the question. I think it probably is this short of notice. And then again, I shouldn't say that because the kid just he plays anywhere. So, I don't know, wait and see. Yeah, that's Fletch. Does Tyson Gable's injury influence Fegus Crossland's position at seven at all? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, look, we, we, through lack of completions, we kicked the ball ten less times this week. So Gamble had a, a large chunk of the kicking and then Kalen took over a lot. So Fegus didn't kick the ball a lot this week. But previous to that, he's, he's uh, done a really good job with his kicking game. He's got a big kick. So I think he'll still play... A very similar role to what he's done. Um, it'll just be who partners him that I've got to make the decision on.